Hi everybody and welcome to another by pen and paper streams. I am Rogue Gamer and this is Strayed Lights, a game published and developed by Embers. Uh, it is I don't know what studio. I'm getting into this completely stupid and blind. So uh, it's supposed to be like an action adventure, um, mostly you know combat related, stylish style kind of game, but with you know. Fancy, whimsical depiction of uh, the world and probably story and all that. We will dive into it quickly, so we will see how that actually goes. But I would like to thank the developers for giving me an you know, opportunity to get the code and review this. Let's see what the options are. I'm playing this on a PS5, which I borrowed from a friend. Um, sure, 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 sure. Um, Display, sure. I'll tone it down a little bit. I don't know what sounds means. Is it just that, or is it, maybe there's not any uh, out, uh, uh, not audio um, talking? No, wait, no. Apply settings. Yes. So new game. Uh, increase the gamma. Sure, I'll increase a little bit so you can see. So I can see. Vibrating already. That's a good start. I don't know how much the games use the new controller and all of its options. It's probably just the first party that does that. I don't know if indies have a chance to do it. I mean, it's, it's really vibrating. Like breathing. Like as you're trying to wake up. Or we're in a banter tank. Make the fuck up, dude! It's already past noon. Well, I'm not one to say I like to sleep till noon. Oh my... I woke up really early today to do this. Well, to play the indie and then to do this. I'm trying to move. I'm moving the camera. Oh, I am crawling. I am an ember. I am a cute little ember that's crawling. What's with my fucking hair? Wow, I got a trophy for just crawling as a newborn. I am a newborn ember somewhere, something. This HR guy get turning into, uh, turning into that. Yeah, am I gonna get a trophy for taking the first few steps? Turning the camera? This is not your Breath of the Wild start. More or less. Or will it be? And now we're running. Full speed. Fire elemental. Okay, how do I hit things? Or when do I get to hit things? Cute, interesting design. We're still small. Everything is too big. The light coming off of him, or like that glare is slightly annoying. Or a glint, or oh, they kicked something. Kick it. Kick it good. Kick this. Are we losing our, our feet? Are we. We're losing our fire, I guess. Oh, Look at the cute little thing. Or fire indestructibly. He's gonna destroy the world. Or burn it. Or something. This is your first tower game. You need to get me into it. Now the thing is, this the style, the um, design would be something that I would really like to play and finish. Maybe like even in one or two settings or something, but we will see how the combat and actual gameplay goes. We're just running outside into the rain and thunder as we are a fire elemental and that's not gonna be good. It's vibrating, but I don't know why. Maybe because when rain drops? Don't touch the water, dude. You're gonna... 
well fall. It barely vibrated there. Do you even know where you're going, buddy? We just stepped out into the rain and thunderstorm. Sprint. Okay, technical crap out for a second. Okay, let's continue on. Oh yeah, running. We need to run, holding a circle button. Well, I still need to turn the camera around. That's gonna be weird. Probably switch some controls around. Come on, run! Run, little fire! Run! Burn your way through the forest and everything else. Come on. And now we're gonna learn how to jump! Whee! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't f jump into a cliff down there. For now, no collectibles or anything. So, that's disappointing. Whee! Okay, back into some other cave, no thunderstorms and stuff. Yeah, this is standard. Usually the running is like R3 or something, or maybe L3. If it's not crouch or the, the other way around. More caves, more ruins. There was like a musical game I kind of played which had these kinds of vibes. Musical, I mean it's themed around music but there's still combat and all that. I can't, I can't really figure out the name of it right now. Again, it's too early in the morning. My brain's still, still asleep. And now, he's gonna grow! Oh wait, what really? God, I was joking. I thought I mean I know we're gonna play with a, like a normal dollar character. Oh, the other guy is not moving that well. And like that there's going to be a time skip, not we just suddenly grow. Oh boy, he's he's make my monster really grow. Uh, fuck. Well, uh, how about running? Uh, how about that circle button? Okay. Something to tell me what the crap is going on, please. This is that stranding levels of bullshit, and nobody's telling me anything. Are we supposed to fight ourselves? No, he ripped something out of me, now we're turning. I'm not doing anything, I'm just vibrating. Okay, so we lost our fire. Duality. Trophy earned. I didn't do anything and I'm getting trophies. I just walked. And this is not a walking simulator. Okay, so he ripped my flame, soul, whatever. And he's taking it into his brain. So he has a fire duality and now I have a cold duality or something. Can I get that back, please? Okay, music is starting. Parry. Okay. I'm gonna move slowly towards it. Okay, the parry is long, I guess. Not really parrying, just blocking. Did not parry there. Okay, I parried there. Buried there. Bastard run away. Where am I even going? 
Running with circle. Match color. Okay. So that's gonna be the system. This is reminding me of that DMC Devil May Cry thing. In later levels, we will need to match color in order to be able to actually damage enemies. I think even for blocking, if I remember well. Parry tack chains. Switch color, parry both tacks in matching order. Oh boy, this is gonna be annoying. <sighs> nope, there you fuck that. Did not fuck that. Is this gonna be like a rhythm game with this bullshit? Because I have a feeling it is. Where is he? Jump. When do I get to attack? Dodge. Okay. Corrupted attacks. What are corrupt? Oh, purple. So those ones I can't parry. I need to. Yeah, this is turning into a very weird rhythm game. So, dodge those, parry those. Do I even get an attack at this point? So, purple corruption. This is your energy bar. Parry, uh, matching color. I don't! This is a rhythm game! Oh shit, I'm... I don't, did not dodge that. So I need to get hit, I need to parry, basically. No, I didn't do that. I did it too early. This is just a simple enemy. The, the other enemy is gonna have different kinds of attacks. How much do I need to parry now? Jesus. Okay, unleash cumulated energy. Okay. Uh, even he is confused at what I did. Uh, I am even more so. This is your health bar. Parry is in matching color, also heal. Cool. Parry is in wrong color, only block damage. Ah, so it can block with different colors. Okay, so this is the rhythm game. Oops. Okay, he is definitely... Can I attack even? Stop looking at yourself! Oh. Okay, so this is this is the this is gonna be difficult. This is definitely gonna at least I'm not do it being dealt the uh, shooting tons of damage. Okay, and I'm healing from this, so that's cool. I don't get anything from this. I really need to get the timing right. This is like practice for padding for Dark Souls games and anything else. I do hope there's not gonna be more than one enemy. Yikes, again. Bad timing on my part. I'm standing right in front of you. Really, really rhythm. I'm just not getting music to help me deal with this okay come on block one more this is getting very slow resilient okay now I'm pressing square is this how we fight yes 
grab the no 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 take your soul back okay the QT prompts are kinda smallish not so easily noticeable and he corrupts my shit and opens a portal and explodes it to every dimension ever and I need to go to every level to collect my own soul and there is also fire and ice and he's melting 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 into me oh fuck Like, you, you know, I like these kinds of artistic games, but give me some context to what the bloody balls is going on. Can I even move? No, I can't. Like, some sort of narrator that narrates some legend or bullshit. Okay. All looks nice, the character design is cute and creepy and interesting, and we switch. Okay, energy affinity level. Um, press triangle to be able to parry both colors without having to switch. To stun enemies for a duration. Do I actually get to attack them? Blast. Uh, to leap forward and perform a powerful attack that interrupts and steals energy. So I'm probably gonna be focusing on one, since everything is triangle. So either balance, I don't know what's next. Stun. I, I gotta go with stun. That that sounds useful. And this just okay increases. There's more. Do I get to do anything else here? Oh, there there's a gate. Of the world one point one or line one point. Well, this was probably world zero, so this is going one point one level. I missed that for like old games and Mario and all that. Just like, you start at level one point one. Okay, do I actually get? I still don't get to attack. I have two ways. There's one, and this is the other. This is where we came in from. Yep, yep. That's the creepy mirror. We released that insane thing from. Kind of chased it here. Kind of didn't. Uh, the circle to run is absolutely annoying. I don't know. L2 is something. It resists my pushes. Okay, what did I... Oh, fuck. Really? Uh, okay, I kind of screwed myself over, I guess. I pressed the touchpad and it just sent me back. Is that like... Yeah, that, this is Dark Souls bullshit. It reset the level, I guess. I mean, it sends you to the... Bonfire, quote-unquote, instantly. And like the beginning of the level, but... That's kind of an annoyance. What do you do to this dude? You select the ability, it costs ability point. Defeat enemies to gain ability points. Okay. Get stunned, bitch. Oh, R2 is for attacks. Ouch. Okay. Uh huh. So I need to blast it away. Combat is uh, iffy. I don't know if I can interrupt my shit to actually attack him. Get buried, bitch. The attacks are a bit slow. At least I can... I 
can dodge a bit or hmm. wait through his attacks and attack. Who is that monkey? Everything here is weird and unknown. Wee! Again, another trophy. Journey begins. Not that we are looking bluish like this. Straight lights, title drop. Where is the monkey off thing? No, I don't want to attack you, don't worry. But I don't know what to do with you. Wait, square. Let me see if it's square does not exist. Nope. Whoops, whoops! Okay, do we burn up? No, we don't. Neither do we extinguish. Like, that seems different pathways, some metrovania, some metrovania sensors are tingling. And that's most definitely something very fucking important. Also, oh, there are blue and fire people. Hi, you look exactly like me. Almost literally. Why are we the special one? That is the question. Okay, does not want us. Are we saved or something? I'm guessing if I go there, I'll just die. Let's see what that altar work looking thing is. Whoops. Like, not even any of the NPCs to comment on anything is weird. Like I got no map, let me see what this does. Nope, just take a photo. Hmm. Having like obscure plot lines and plots and ideas and everything here is fine. But some context would be good. Like I come to a place, I will leave my hand around, I press square and nothing happens. And I have no idea what I'm to do. Like, my general gamer senses are telling me where to go, that's okay, but somebody who has no idea or is not that much of a gamer, doesn't play that much, might get utterly confused at what the crap is going on. Like, yeah, I... I I know what, what's going to happen here. This is where we learn... Oh, we don't need to learn. We just get a skill to shimmy over. I'm feeling this has some Metroidvania vibes. With like unlocking different skills. Yeah, like this. We can't get over there unless we have like double jump or something. Oh no, we don't. Wait, wow, I just flew there then. I found one out of six eggs in this area. Oh, the eggs remind me of the Jack and Dexter. Literally, okay, let's see if we're gonna die. Yes, we did. There is fall damage. Do not fall. Uh, did they collect that then? Let's see. At least there is kind of checkpoint. 
Ooh, I don't know if I lost those two points that I got. Let's see first if we lost anything here. Nope, we collected the egg. I think I see another one over there. So at least it has collectibles. I'm fine with that. I like that. And how the fuck are we swimming? We are a file elemental. And we drowned. Okay, so we are not swimming. That that that's that's a no for from this dude. Nope, nope, nope. Where where is the deep? Where is not the deep? I like how it gave you a chance, like, you can swim a little bit, but you're not actually swimming, you're attempting not to drown. Is that the first one? <laughs> Absolutely not, that's almost the last, what the heck? Where are these things? What are these things? What am I supposed to do with them? Will this speak to me now? Oh, something happened. Is there an egg over there that they just ignored? My ticket is. I mean, to be honest, I have no idea where am I to go next. But I'm going somewhere. Jump, climb, collect. Okay, so that's the first one. As I said, if you don't have gamer sensibilities, you wouldn't know what to do. So that's kind of a detriment for these kinds of artistic games where there is absolutely no narration, voicing, or even like dropped texts in the field. You have absolutely no clue what's going on or where you should be going or what you should be doing. You need to continually visualize and contextualize and see what's gonna be happening. points. Defeating enemy gains you one ability point and some health. Cool. Music is decent. More animals. Wait animals. Cute animals. Wait, I just want to pet you or ride you or both. That looks deadlier than the other ones. Oof, oof, okay, yeah, 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 that looks deadly. How about you get stunned, bitch? Oh, wait, there is target lock. Get blasted. I don't want to go to the... Ah, oh, they went away. To like that area where I level up because I don't know if I'll restart the level completely. Get stunned, bitch. I'm guessing you can play this completely... Passively? Just... Not even attack? Completely just play the Aridem Parry game and... Blast it away once you charged up. I absolutely have no idea where I'm going. Maybe I'll double back.
Oh boy, that's a boss. Did I just run into a boss fight? Or am I running towards it? And look, look how hidden the egg is. I guess, maybe it is. Maybe there isn't an egg here. No, it just showed me... An area new? Oh shit, no, 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 that's a new one. Come on, attack, attack the bitch. Okay, thankfully the enemies don't do that much damage. Like, there was no difficulty um, selection at the beginning. So, maybe they don't do that much damage. Maybe it increases later on. Depending on which zone you get into another collectible. That is highly hidden. Yep, nope, that's corrupting, I think, maybe. Also, I have no map um, that I know of. So I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, that's nice. That's an enemy. Nope. I don't think I can cancel out out of an attack. I need to time this, don't be a stupid idiot. Oh wow, he, wow, he just ra ripped my face off. Oh, I healed to max, did it increase my health right now? Animals. Wait, no, I can I can sneak. Hi, cute animals. Hello. Oh wait, I can pet you. Oh, I can pet the animals. The cute deer, rabbit, fox things, whatever. Wild fauna trophy earned. Jeez, everything's a trophy here. Okay, I think I see another glowy hidden, hidden thing. Well, a collectible. Don't know what it does, but it does something. And I see a pathway over there that leads me to another collectible. Let's go collectible with that. Maybe those eggs are just at the beginning, or like that zone where there is an altar over there. As you see, I need to figure out stuff on my own. Of course, I can go online and read about everything and get a walkthrough and a guide and all that. But it's not as fun as figuring out on your own. I have two orbs here. A fire and white orb, okay. Don't see anything else. And like, in, unless you are a exploration -y soul like I am, you might even miss a lot of this because you're just running around being like, okay, this is annoying. Where is the fight? Where is the bosses? Where is next? Where where do I need to go? What do I need to do? And a lot of people will ask that of themselves instead of actually enjoying and playing the game. I mean, it's not that I am not doing that, I am asking. But... Oh, there's a there's an enemy? Is that the... Yeah, no. Can this save my ass? It technically can. Uh, I... Can I cancel out of this shit, please? Stun your ass. 
The stun is good. I can probably increase its uh, duration as well. No, I'm just gonna kill it. Bam. Inner world. Go back to your inner world and improve your character. Yes, a little bit in a moment. I don't wanna get spawned who knows where. Once I leave this. Once I leave, I mean inner, inner world. I almost typed it there and there. Okay, let's go. Um, I'm guessing I'm getting closer to some boss fight or another. Which I'll probably end up getting killed at and sent to the inner world or somewhere. And I don't know how that is. Somebody, I think, mentioned that this is maybe Souls like. I don't know, maybe because of dodging and all that, but a lot of other games had that before Souls Likes. Yeah, this is definitely a boss arena. Uh, let's get our ass handed to us, I guess. I didn't upgrade anything. Oh, what? Did he just poke my hand? It's like, oh, hi there. You didn't notice the giant fuck off monkey. Oh no. No oh, no, please don't nope. Yeah 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 leave me the fuck alone. Uh get stunned bitch. Oh he's sad that he's getting stunned. Block that, block that, block that, didn't not block that, block that, block that. Get stunned. How about I hit him a few more times instead of just once? Oh, did he? Is he running away? No, no, no! Don't, don't attack! Ooh. Yes, it ran away. Oh, you're sad that the animals run away. That, God damn it, my health. Uh, please lock on. Oh, wow. Boy, I I'm healing and getting my ass handed to me. Run away, run away, run away, so I can hit him. Okay. Oh no. Oh boy, that was cool, I think. Fucking timing. Wait, 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 don't jump all the way over there. I need to kick your ass. God damn it. Look at how far away you are. Why are you that far away? Damn it. Oh no. Oh no, I need to move to it so I can. Nice. They're not. This is a cute boss fight. Like, literally, you don't need. Ah, no, it's all the way over there. Damn it! Mm, I need to run to it so I can hit it. Nope. Nope. No, you don't. Now I have monkey hands. I slap at you. So this is gonna be an editing thing, because my cable is constantly losing connection for some reason. I think I saw something over here, let me check. Now that's where I came from? Or not? No, it is this. That's where I need to go, but where, is there anything else here? Music's nice. Uh, environmental sounds are really cool. Like, it's an artistic kind of game. Doesn't need to sh uh, tell you or show you everything, but it's weird as well. If 
Fuck, I don't know how much I played actually. Oh boy. Oh no. No! 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 Why is he such a meanie? Just kill that animals. Okay, let's see if I die trying to collect this. Oh no, I need to go here. Energy affinity. Two energy gains. Okay, and I need to collect ten next time. And there is a fire one down. Ooh, booth down there. How can I get to them? Without killing myself. I'll just walk. Okay. I want to see if I'll find another giant crystal or something that's going to be like a bonfire, maybe. Oh, that's another one dead. That guy is a real meanie. No, no, you just get stunned. than an hour by accident. Okay, this can be very cinematic if you know what the fuck you're doing and you're playing, you know, actually well. Not like me. Which is, I'm gonna say I suck at this. Let me just run into the next boss fight. I don't know if these are blood stains or just tree details. I do believe this is another boss fight, let's see. Oh yeah, that's the thing. Okay, let's go to the inner world. Let's see what happens. Where I restart, which is going to be interesting. Okay, that's the beginning level. And this is all the way back to the shard. Do I really... Did I just restart my whole run? I don't know where this leads. Nothing tells me. This is the shard. Okay, what is this? Oh, wow, the cost is really high for some of these shit. Like this? One. This? All of your eight that you have. Focus parry. Hold R to focus. Once ready, release to parry. Uh, gives more energy on success. Interesting. This is like ta a really timed parry. Maximum health. Counter attack. Press R to after successfully parrying an attack. Uh, achieve without taking damage to perform. Counter attack. Nice. Ability point one. Strong attack. Hold her for a strong attack. Okay. Well, I'd rather get the health upgrade. So I don't die as easily. And I can get either this or some of these. Can I even get this? Why can't I get this? Do I need the first level in everything? I think this, aha, uh -huh, affinity level, so if I collect more of them, then uh, that's basically my level, and that unlocks all of my other stuff, I'm guessing. So that unlocked, uh, affinity level unlocked all of these, and the more other ones I collect, I'll unlock more levels, I'm guessing. So let's go, oh, I can't even get balance, I can't get anything, even though I have, no, oh, this costs the squiggles. And this costs the shards. Okay. Uh, so I'm guessing this is the way back because it's glowing brighter than that thing. Let's see where this sends me. Or if it's going to send me to the very beginning. I don't know. Okay, it sent me right back 
to where I was. Which is okay, so I can go engage this dude. Okay, he's very mad. Oh boy, can I even parry this bitch? No, I can't. I think it's like parry this, you filthy casual. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Oh, he's gonna kick my ass so hard. That was a nice combo. Okay, boss fights, it's just parry. I don't have the... I can't really attack. He is way too goddamn fast. No, don't kill that thing. Bastard. Bastard. Ouch, I think it lowers my maximum health. I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing. So I can't really increase all of my health all of the time. Yeah. If it lowers my mask health, I can only recover so much from pairing. And I can recover a little bit. But I... Oh, wait, where is he? Oh, he's going there. Can I? Yes, I can. Get over here, you monkey. You evil ass triad monkey. Okay, god damn it. Can I just dodge everything or everything? Oh boy, oh no. I'm dead. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Can I stun him even? I forgot I could stun him. Yeah, stun, stun you again, bitch. No, you don't. They are going to be free. He's still running away. Still chasing this bastard. Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, bloody monkey thing. Okay, let me uh, get to a position and check something. Oh boy, here we are. Two enemies at once. I do not like that. Uh, so, how many... How much did he connect? How long did this last? Okay, so that was 40, 50, 2. Yeah, we have a few minutes. Let's see how this dual enemy bullshit is gonna be. I don't like it. I really don't like it when they do this. I should have attacked the other guy, he is more dangerous than this one. Oh, 
Okay, some uh, information from the sides is okay. Wait, I can't. Oh shit! I need to defeat the one and the other to blast him. Did I get four? No, I got two. I got two. Well, I as I said, uh, it's a nice stylistic artistic game, more or less. It has some combat and combat. Uh, I don't like when there's more than one enemies in these kinds of games. Uh, you could pretty much just finish the whole game, I think, with just parries, ouch, and dodges. You don't really need to attack at any, uh, at any point. It's probably good. You might finish an enemy faster. Like, you can stun it like this and then wail on it. But it's literally teaching you how to dodge and parry in Dark Souls. This can be your training session for uh, all that, so you can get yourself some decent timing and not suck like I do. Okay, I need at least eight of these shards to upgrade something. Oh, is this still more of those that? Oh, what the heck? That I'm. Uh, uh, that monkey thing needs to go. Oh, here is another fight. Oh boy, why am I constantly just in battle with this thing? Ouch. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Nope. Jesus, that, that, that amount of comboing. Ouch, ouch, ouch! And I'm dead. Okay, uh, let's see what restarts us. Mm, the beginning of the boss fight. Hint, regain health by parrying. I get it, I know. It's just... Sometimes in rhythm. Fucking the, the trophy is called in rhythm. This is literally a rhythm game. This is fucking literally a rhythm game. Ouch. No, no, don't slam me. God damn it. He literally takes so much health from me for that. Okay, I dodged that at least. How about you get stunned a little bit, so I can wail on you. Ouch, I'm, I'm gonna be dead. How I, I heal and then he just rips my face off. And I'm dead again. I was so close to finishing him. Ah, I should have stunned him. God damn it, I should have stunned him. Let's try again. I, at least it's decent uh, Dark Souls and as in... Rhythm. 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 Oh, no, I got no rhythm. I don't really need to move. That's the thing. It's not like he's gonna push me out of the arena or something. I just need to parry and that's it. Yeah, dodge that, but I don't really need to move at all. Unless I want to charge at him and attack him. Okay, he caught me there. Uh, how about you get stunned? Okay, I dodged that bullshit. Dodge that bullshit. This is the weirdest rhythm game you will ever play. 
I promise you that. And I played some of the combat rhythm games. Like, gentle touch. That's gonna be a gentle touch about this. I'm gonna rip his face off. For murdering all of these things. Ooh, <laughs> face planted so hard. He is corrupted. He needs to be decorrupted. Wow, that that little deer thing is more powerful than me. He just wrecked it. Oh, so he is a small monkey thing. I just murdered like 20 of you, but please let them be my friend. Okay, we got what one wiggle thing, squiggle thing. And we cleared one zone, I guess. I don't think I have enough for upgrading anything. Ugh. It increased in cost because I bought the other thing. God damn it! Ah! So annoying! So annoying! Okay, let's increase the duration so I can stun lock them for longer. Uh, what will happen if we go back here? Do we just spawn at crystal? We spawn at crystal. And then I pick another path that I didn't pick the first time around to go. And let's see if we get anything for being here. Like now that I've collected a few eggs. Okay, something happened. So one tower got complete, the other one needs one, and then needs two. Cool artwork. Or oh, show me another zone. I can't really do oh, it's square to leave. A glimpse of history. Well, I need six more of these, and I need to find more eggs, which are God knows who, who were. Maybe they're still in this area where I haven't, you know, poked my nose in. Uh, let's check. Oh, there, there's one. Yeah, it could be that all of them are, like, hidden around this starting area. They give you something or a little bit. Oh, I mean, six, it's not too much. You can just half look at them and find them. Wait, will this do what I think it's gonna do? We a shortcut! We don't die by jumping off. Maybe. I'm still kinda high up. Oh boy, let's see what happens. Oh, we survive. Cool. So yeah, there might be more hidden who knows where. And this kind of open worldish level design is interesting. You can literally pick a path and start that quest line, I guess. Okay, there's another egg. I'm finding them without even trying. But you really need to be like the explorative soul or have an interest in going around trying to figure out this all on your own. Uh, otherwise, this game ain't gonna be interesting for you, like, at all. It's cutesy, it's nice, it is kind of, sort of, for people who are new to these kinds of games. It's funny that it's a rhythm game. It, it's, it's literally a rhythm game. You can't say that it isn't. Um... Because you can finish any boss fight or any encounter with just petting. You don't really need to attack at all. 
which is cool, which is cute. Like there, there's not many games that allow for that. No, of course it's gonna be okay. At least it completed one. Okay, nothing rose. So I think I need just one more to complete the other one. I have no idea where it is. I'm probably just gonna look around as I speak. So, as I said, visual representation, nice, good. Uh, visual uh, cues from the enemies, also nice, good. Uh, they need to be very open if this is going to be a rhythm game, and it's just about learning the timing, uh, which I've been always uh, been awful at, so I don't really do parrying in Dark Souls games. I do dodge rolling or, at worst case, shielding. I mean, parry is probably the best thing you can do. Okay, there's the egg. I found all of them. Uh, because, you know, you can stagger enemies uh, and prevent them from attacking more and you know, all of that. Okay, let's see what happens when we have all the X. Uh, but I'm I'm worse at timing in regards to that. Like, I'm, I'm so awful. So I don't, you usually don't even try. Uh, that's a new zone. This game, it's interesting. Um, as I said a few times during the video, you need to be a certain type of gamer to fully enjoy this. Many, even people who like Dark Souls or like that kind of a challenge, I don't think they will find interest in this. Even though Dark Souls even has worse lore, but there at least something is described. It's something. We don't even know what we are. We're just an ember that is doing this because... I don't know. I mean, if you look at it it's like you're collecting pieces of your soul or something that that guy ripped off but again it's all up to your interpretation and it's absolutely to your interpretation it's nothing else is giving you any insight this is like some history revelation but it's just an image oh yeah some guys did something to something it's cool artwork if you want to use this for D&D or like for some sessions or just have it, it's it's nice artwork. But the ambiguity and the questioning side of this where you have absolutely no idea what it is going on is... I mean, it's gonna be left to the players to, to enjoy and to figure out what they, wanted, what they want out of this game. I can't really go into many menus. Does this do anything? I can probably switch to other abilities. So... I don't know, uh, this is not a rare game, not by a long shot, there are plenty of similar games like these, uh, the first one that comes to mind is Ori in the Blown Falls, but even that has some narration, or some plot or something to guide you, this is like, this is almost Shadow of Colossus, but like even without any narration, because you have this kind of central hub, and you're picking your way to do whatever, to collect some things, to beat some enemies and some bosses. I don't even know if that boss that I beat was like um, the first one I should have. I just picked the path and went there. Maybe that was actually the hardest boss in the game. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, or there's going to be some increase in difficulty uh, just because you're advancing on your own and, you know, you need to pick and choose bosses by that. I, I have no idea. The game is very not giving you any clues to what you're doing, you're just playing it and figuring shit out on your own. You're probably gonna have your own interpretation of stuff by the end of it. Again, kind of the artistic uh, way. Uh, there is no UI, there is no that. It's definitely a rhythm game. Um, I, I'm not I'm not gonna say that it isn't, because this parry system, uh, you can upgrade it, you can have like that hold parry and all uh, encounter and attack. But I think it's mostly just, okay, you parry, and then you parry, and then you parry, and then you parry, and then you play a rhythm game of like switching colors and parry, and switching colors and parry, and switching colors and parry, and then you dodge, dodge roll for the purple thing, and that's pretty much it. You don't need to deal with any of the bosses, any other way, any of the enemies, which is absolutely cute. Like, you don't really need to attack at all, anyone. It's just, if you want to attack, get some hits in, get, progress the bar a bit faster, deal with some enemies that are annoying, or like spam, purple attacks or corruption attacks uh, more than your normal ones. But yeah, this is... It's a cute game. It definitely needs to be, you know, checked out if you're uh, into some um, weird gameplay. 
Um, you definitely need to play this on a controller. I don't know how this is going to be on a uh, keyboard and mouse. I'm playing on a PS5, and it's you, maybe you get a better battle for running. But as I did the, the boss fight uh, I just did, I literally just stood and I did this, and then I did this, and then I did more of this, and then more of this, and some of this, and then maybe one this. And that's all I need to do. It's timing. It's a good training game, basically, for, as I said, Dark Souls kinds of games where you need to time everything. Because at the end of it, if you play it in one sitting, you probably have a decent uh, idea of uh, looking at the enemy, uh, basically looking at its animation and figuring out where you need to press the button to block the attack. And that's the game. That's that's basically the game. I'm not going to say it's bad or good. It's it's a decent attempt. I like that it is an indie studio and they did all of this. Uh, the animation and the style is uh uh, appreciative to in the games because you don't really need to go into too much detail and you could use some simple textures and build this area pretty easily like we're not even leaving that much tracks in this dirt ground whatever it is which I don't mind I don't care this reminds me more of a like a PS3 uh, age era even like a PS2 oh wait what the fuck is this gonna be some lore let me see is she gonna tell me something? No, but she is definitely showing me where to go, which is probably the next two bosses. So it's like, or maybe she's showing me where I didn't go. I don't even know if there's just three exits. No, Lord. no, nothing. It's still figuring out yourself. Uh, so yeah, stray lights, fun, interesting practice kind of game uh, probably putting it to your interpretation in your uh, story and all that because uh, when I start when I do write a review I have no idea what I'm going to write as a story because I have no idea what's going on it's all under my interpretation um, so till next time uh, this was the first hour of Stray Lights uh, do the like, subscribe, comment and there is Patreon for support uh, you can check out the YouTube channel for all of the other episodes or Twitch to watch me do this live and you know flounder around and lose connection and all that uh, but until next time as always do remember it's the stories that we play and this one's a weird one